Hi, TJ. Nice to see you. Hi, nice to see you. Welcome to Preferred Profits Technology Center. Thanks. Shall we go on through? Yeah, let's look around. So tell us a bit more about why you're in Houston. Well, as most people are aware, Houston is the epicenter of oil and gas, and a lot of our customers are based out of here uh, in addition to us being able to recruit a talent base that's familiar with uh, the industry. Tell us a bit more about what you guys are actually doing here. So first and foremost, we are developing our resin coating technologies. Uh, but in addition to that, we really view the future of this facility to be a technology incubator for uh, those who are out in the marketplace, inventors, scientists, and so on and so forth, to bring new technologies to us to help them uh, bring those to market. So the two primary reasons that resin coating technology is utilized in the well are for flowback control and fines migration. And then the first on flowback control, if you can imagine during the hydraulic fracturing process, tremendous pressure is uh, used in order to pump the sand and fluids into the actual well bore and, and the fissures themselves. So one of the things that uh, resin coating technology can do is prevent flowback. So if, uh, if you can imagine the, the resin coating going in behind the sand and creating a slug or a permeable cork, if you, can, if you will, that once the, the pumping pressure is released, that it will hold the propens in the proper place and allow them to do what they want to do. So this um, cork or slug, as you're calling it, is that what we have here? Yeah, so this is the result of a, what we call a stick test. So we put the resin under a simulated scenario of downhole conditions. And afterwards, we bring it out and we dry it out and we run it through a test that will actually break the slug and, and give us a, a rating of the coating. The second reason that we have resin coating technology is to prevent fines migration. So uh, under the pressures that are experienced downhole, the, the sand will ultimately pulverize against itself. It becomes extreme enough and those fines will migrate and, and, and clog up a well. So what the, the resin coating does is it actually encapsulates the grain of sand. And if it does pulverize against itself, it prevents those fines from migrating. Similar to your windshield, if you were to break the windshield, your glass doesn't fall in your lap uh, because it's coated on either side. And the same thing happens when you have a resin coating on the actual grain of sand. So these two apparatus are called autoclaves, and what they allow us to do is simulate downhole uh, conditions. In other words, we can uh, place our resin coating technology inside of them uh, and hold it at temperature in a wet environment and under pressure. There's a number of reasons why we want to do that. Number one is if the product is leaching into the water, then it is obviously degrading, and, and so it's not doing what it's intended to do, or it's going to have less of a capability to do what it's intended to do. The second thing is that there's a, 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 a chance for that to cross-link with whatever fracture fluids people are using, and uh, that's creating a variable, uh, good, bad, or indifferent, from what they ultimately want to do. And so this piece of equipment allows us to measure the stick point of our resin. It simulates downhole, uh, the, just, the, just the temperature portion of the downhole conditions. It doesn't have the wet environment or the pressure environment. So this bar is actually you know, hotter the closer it is towards this end and it, it's a little cooler on that end. And we run a test, we put it on and we start the clock for a minute and ten seconds and at the end of it we can tilt the, the apparatus to let us see uh, which, which temperature created the stick point. So tell me a bit about how you maintain consistency in your process. Well, we have a series of tests that we run post-production uh, to make sure that we are uh, achieving the results that we intended. Uh, one, for example, is this, uh, this test, which allows us to measure the LOI, or loss on ignition. Uh, one, each of our recipes has a certain thickness or coating of the actual chemistry on the individual substrate or grain of sand, and this allows us to burn that off and then measure how much uh, coating actually existed. What are some of the biggest challenges when developing a new product? So as you can imagine, once you have an idea and then you want to start to test that idea uh, and the concept and you, you develop it and you mature it within the lab, is then taking it to full production scale. So we have a, a series of, of uh, pieces of equipment in here that allow us to simulate a full production model. This is a, a mixer that we use that is a scaled down version of the actual mixer that we have in our production facility. In terms of the quality and the specifications that your customers are looking for, what, what kind of work do you do here? So there's a, there's a number of tests that uh, our, our customers are interested in and uh, one of the important things to, to make sure that the product is going to perform in the specific reservoir in which they're exploring uh, is the uh, uh, crush test or, or how well the, the sand or the resin coated sand is going to withstand the pressures that it experiences down well. So this, uh, this piece of equipment allows us to uh, first 
load a cell with a product and then you know in, introduce a, a pressure to it at a series of levels and then you can uh, you have performance specifications to meet uh, until it ultimately fails and you, you create a rating for the for the sand. You've told us quite a lot about your resin coating process and what development you're doing here. What else uh, does the future hold for the facility? So we fully intend to staff this facility with scientists and, and, and folks who are able to uh, to vet new technologies that are brought to us every day uh, for people to uh, to bring to market. Uh, they want to leverage our sales team, they want to leverage our distribution network and access to our customers. And while today it is a focus on the resin, and ultimately in the future we see this as an incubator for new technologies for the oil field. Great, well thank you very much for showing us around and I wish you all the best for the future. Nice meeting you.